hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is kiana welcome back if you are not new <laughs> what am i trying to say anyways okay yeah we're gonna be doing a makeup routine on this look right here it's the same exact makeup routine that i had in my last youtube video and you guys all really really liked it and you all wanted to hear about it so this is my minimalist everyday makeup routine I'm trying to look into my actual lens instead of the viewfinder but it's really hard one of you guys said that it looks better if i look into the lens and i'm trying my hardest but it's hard i just want to look over all right let's get started so starting off with skincare also my hair is drying i usually do skincare like a good five ten minutes before the rest of my makeup because i just think it lays better and it soaks in the skin and you just give it time to settle that's why my hair is still drying it will be dry for the next part if you guys hear the wind blowing that <laughs> if you guys hear that that's my boyfriend he's doing like lawn care stuff we just decided to do things at the exact same time so hopefully it's not too annoying if it is this won't get posted so yeah i start off with skincare i think that skincare is probably the most important step in this entire makeup routine it is very very simple makeup but that's because we're focusing so much on our skin i do the most for my skin at all times so that i can wear the least amount of makeup as possible also you don't have to wear makeup obviously that's but you're here watching this video, so you want to. Okay, so anything to buy, I love CosRX. I used to get really, really bad bumps on my skin, and it wasn't even acne. It was just like little tiny clogged pores, I guess. And ever since I switched over Korean skincare, I don't have that problem ever. That's also why I kind of backed away from a lot of foundations, because I noticed they were doing the same. I haven't really found any foundations that don't do that, so I've just kind of kept my distance. So this is just water. It used to be the Kosas Serum, which was really, really nice. I just... I don't know, I just decided I wasn't gonna buy it again. So yeah, I'm just going to spray this over my face, just cause a lot of this stuff, they're just humectant. So you actually have a little bit of moisture on your face to keep it in. This is just the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. I know some people are gonna attack me for not putting this in my hand and putting it directly on my face, but I will. Also, while I was doing this, couldn't find my sunscreen. Don't know where it is. I swear every single time I sit down to make a YouTube video, can't find my sunscreen. Literally will not be found. Next up, I'm gonna spritz just a little bit. Not enough to like take off the product, obviously. And then I'm going in with the very highly rated TikTok product. It's the Snail Mucin, also by CosRx. I do love this stuff. I think that it has been absolutely amazing for my skin. And yeah, it's just finding products that moisturize my skin, but also don't make it oily throughout the day. And also don't give me those little bumps on my skin. It's kind of crazy the amount of things that say they're non-comedogenic. Is that how you say that word? I mean, literate. But they still clog your pores. Like it still shows because you're still getting bumps all over your skin. Like how is it non-clog pouring if it's still clogging boards? Make it make sense, I don't get it. The last thing, also by Coast RX. Again, I love this brand. This is just their Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. They finally put it in this tube. It used to be in like a glass container, like a little tub that you had to put your fingers in every single time. And I know I just put that one serum on my face, but I don't let the vial like touch my face. Keep everything as hygienic as possible. So I'm gonna let this all soak into my skin. Usually I would have a sunscreen on me. Can't find my sunscreen. I'm sure it's somewhere. There's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I'll come back and we will do the rest of the makeup tutorial. A few moments later. Now that we're a little bit more dry, we can start the actual makeup routine. So starting off, I need to get the big version of this, but this is the Say, what is this? The Say Glowy Super Gel and Star Glow. Stuff is actually amazing. And it almost gives your skin the finish that a foundation would, but without the coverage. Like it's just, it makes you look like you almost have foundation on. My sun is disappearing. Like look at that. Half of our routine is already done with one product. It's so nice. Like I just, ah, oh, I love it. Next up, going in with bronzer. I just use this bronzer from Merit. This is the color Cyan, I think is how you'd say it. I don't like applying products straight to my face. I always like using a brush. I just realize that it gives a much more natural finish and your products will just lay better, honestly. Which, as cute as it is to do the entire thing, it doesn't actually work well the more that I did it. I put stuff pretty high up on my cheeks because it just lifts your entire face and it makes you look like you got cheekbones higher than they are. Plus, I like being a little bronzy. 
like being a little toasty. As the winter's coming, I'm terrified because I'll be a little pale baby. Honestly, I'm quite pale right now. I really didn't treat this summer very well. <laughs> I didn't go outside much. Not, I should have gone out more. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use a blush. I have been torn between two blushes recently. They're both by the same exact company. They're from Persona Beauty. One is from Guava and then the other one is Bloom. Bloom is kind of like a true pink, almost like a baby pink. And then Guava is almost like this like toasty color. They're so pretty. I'm pretty sure that in that in my video last time I was wearing this, so this is what we're gonna go with. I should put products back in their case so that way I'm not getting them all over our floor. Once again, going in with a brush. A little goes a long way with this product is what I've noticed. Kind of tap this into place. Taking it a little bit over the nose, a little on the forehead, just giving it overall a little bit toastier of a look, making it look like we go out in the sunshine. I can't recall if I used a concealer for this. In the case that I did, it was most likely this one because I've been obsessed with it recently. So this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I just take this little brush from Hourglass and I will put a little bit on just to get it to apply also around my nose because it always gets really red and I'm not sure why. And then once I've applied it, I use like the warmth of my finger to really get it in there. I've noticed that with this product, you really do need to use your fingers. I've noticed that with a lot of Glossier's products. Like I think they intend for you to use your fingers and not actual brushes. And it shows with the products because their products just do so much better when you use your fingers. I almost forgot I put it on my nose. I go back in with my blush brush just to make sure that I didn't take away from the high points of my cheekbones because sometimes when you put on concealer, I don't know why, but I always put on my blush before my concealer and I'm not sure why because I always go back and do this, but it's just a habit at this point. Next, I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows. I have very thick eyebrows, so I don't really want to put any more product in them, especially since this is my simple, very, very simple routine. I've lost my eyelash curler, but I don't know where it is. Most of the times I'll decide that day if I want to wear mascara, but for the sake of today's videos, we're going to put on mascara. I tried and enjoy right here. The Milani highly rated lash extensions tubing mascara. I don't know why. I just love this product. If you get it and you hate it, don't kill me. I just personally adore it. Oh my God. The eyelashes are not cooperating today. Do you see that? What the heck is that? Okay. Don't mind my eyelashes. <laughs> Those are so bad. I always curl them and I feel like it always looks 10 times better when you curl them, but here we are, curlingless. God, those look bad. Why are they so short right there? That almost just ruined my entire mood. Like this eye, she's cute. What is going on right there? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Everyone was asking the lip combo for that day. It's literally just this. This is all I was wearing in that. Um, I have a really, really strong like lining for my lips already and I like the color of my lips a lot so I just picked this color because it kind of, I don't know, it kind of just looked right. This is the Merit Beauty Lip Oil in Marrakesh. She's cute. That's, I mean, that's basically it. And then I am going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I thought that this product was a lie. I thought everyone who was talking about it was just like crazy and just Charlotte Tilbury stands because there's so many of their products that I kind of have issues with, but not this one. This one actually, mm -hmm. it actually does its job. I swear I missed my face for the first half of that. Fix the curlies. Let me fix my eyebrows. Something not sitting right about them. I kind of want them to be a little bit like furrier, so I'm gonna let them grow out, I think. Which I mean, I don't really trim. I like, I'll trim them and I think I just want them to have less of like a concrete shape. Okay, that is the final look. This is just my very, very minimalist makeup that I basically do every day now. Like this is just it. I really love all of these products. I feel like there's not much on my face at all. And sometimes I'll even decide I don't want mascara or I don't even want bronzer. It just kind of depends on the day. But yeah, that is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. Almost forgot. If you guys have made it this far and you're still curious about the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing over on my Instagram, it will be happening this week. I am just in the process of getting everything ready. I am gonna be doing three boxes which is super exciting. Basically the rules are just gonna 
be over on my Instagram. I think it would be too hard to do it all here on YouTube. So if you are still interested in that, definitely head over to my Instagram and I will be posting it there. I can't tell you exactly which day because I don't know yet. I don't play it out that far, but it will be happening. All right, for real this time, toodles, kisses, love you, bye bye